One of my fondest memories as a young kid was of course making custard at Christmas time. I would go into the kitchen with my grandma and make a beautiful custard. And this is how she made it. It starts with 600 mils of Australian milk. Make sure it's Australian. Now this is one of these great little jugs with all the different measurements around it. Make sure you use the right measurement because they've got every single measurement you can imagine. Now into the pot it goes. I'm gonna pour 600 mils straight in there like that. Now a little trick when you are heating milk up is if you put the sugar with the milk at the start, it actually stops it from scalding on the bottom. So I've got half a cup of sugar. I'll put straight into the milk like that. Whisk it around till it dissolves and pop it onto a medium heat. Now to make the custard, you need to thicken it up. And the thing we use to thicken it up is of course, egg yolks and corn flour. Now the egg yolks I'm using are Australian egg yolks, of course, and I just crack them like this, separate the eggs. So I've got the whites in one bowl. I'll use them for something else. And the yolks, of course, into this bowl. The yolks give it a great colour and help to thicken it up with the corn flour. And you know the eggs get that yellow colour from the chickens living a very good life. I love cracking eggs. Just crack them on the side there like that, split them apart and then pour them from one shell to another. Now if you want to do it really quickly, you could pour the egg into your hand and separate it with your hand, but this is the most fun way of doing it. You just try and make sure you don't get any shell into the bowl. Now the whites I always put aside in the container in the fridge and you can actually freeze them if you want. They're great for making meringues and especially my favourite dish, meringue kisses. But we'll do that another day. I'll separate these six little yolks and there we go. We've got them all in there. Pop that over there. And you can see I've done the right thing. I haven't put any eggshells in my carton here. That way I can recycle it. Now the yolks are in here. I'm going to put some corn flour, about a quarter of a cup of corn flour straight into the bowl there. Make sure I get every single bit of that out. And to flavour it up and make it a really nice vanilla custard, I'm using vanilla paste. This is very strong and it will give it a great flavour. I'll stir this around till it's all nicely combined. Wait for my milk to come up to temperature and I'll be able to thicken the milk up and make a beautiful custard. Once the milk has come up to temperature, which it has, I take some of the milk and pour it into the yolks and the corn flour, just a little bit to warm it up again. The trick with making a really good custard is to get the temperature just right so you don't scramble the eggs. Now that that's at the right temperature and it's all whisked together beautifully, grab a spatula and pour it back into the pot, nice and gently. Now give the bowl a good wipe down with a spatula because you don't want to waste any of that precious egg, vanilla or milk. Now you just have to stand here and stir this over a very gentle heat until the custard starts to thicken. It'll take four or five minutes and you'll know it's thickened because the spoon or spatula you're using will slow down and you'll get a nice big thick custard on the outside. That's all you have to do. Now it doesn't take long for the custard to thicken up and you can tell it's got great vanilla in there, lots of little dots and it looks fantastic. And the most important thing is it tastes fantastic as well. But to finish it off properly, I'll add just a few drops of brandy and stir that in. A brandy custard, what could be better to go on a Christmas pudding? And you can really smell the brandy right at the end. That's why I add it, just at the end. Now the Christmas pudding's here, nice and warm. The trick with this baby here is to pour the custard over the top. Look at that. That is a beautiful thick custard. It holds its shape really well. And you know what? When I was a little boy in the kitchen, I'd get the rest of this.